system has done its job again at Ellen Road. It's been switched on 24 hours a day for the last five days to combat temperatures well below freezing. And as a result, there was never any doubt about this tie going ahead. Lee Chapman will be hoping to maintain his remarkable scoring sequence at Ellen Road. He's found the net in eight of the last ten matches here and leads the attack tonight in this formation, which shows just one change in personnel from the team beaten at Norwich last Saturday. Gary Speed is restored on the left with Mike Whitlow dropping out and Glyn Snowden reverting to fullback. David Platt is a step ahead of Chapman in the goal-scoring lists. Indeed, only Ian Rush and Matthew Letizia claim more, despite the fact that Platt operates in midfield. Three of his 16 goals have come in the Rumbelows Cup. The Villa manager, Joseph Venglos, has his captain, Stuart Gray, fit again to resume at left-back in place of Kevin Gage. And Paul Birch comes in in place of Andy Common, presumably to do a man-to-man -man marking job on Gordon Strachan. Otherwise, he relies on the side held to a goalless draw by Liverpool last weekend. Referee Ray Lewis officiates here for only the second time in his career. The first, coincidentally, was when Villa beat Leeds in the FA Cup. And he also took this season's league meeting between the sides at Villa Park. And yet another big crowd here for this clash between two sides who used to be old adversaries in the first division. Leeds, in fact, haven't knocked a side from the first division out in the Rumbelows Cup for 13 years. Not here at Ellen Road, anyway. Strachan's ball forward is to Chapman. Down to the captain, Gray. McGrath. Birch. A bit of a lead draw then as the players came searching to win the ball, and McAllister did there. Back from speed. Gary Speed looks to be in an unusual position for him, playing more down the middle. Here is Carl Schutt, and he's found his way, albeit with the aid of a rebound. Sterling's ball in, out from McGrath. Mascarino beaten by Fairclough. Callister trying to find a way through the middle, but McGrath there with his third touch already in this third minute. Oh, that's good play, and McAllister will go back onto it, but over there on that far side was fullback Chris Price. to try and clear his lines. Cascarino waiting for York to support him down the right. Head all the way back to Nigel Spink, who gets the first early touch of the ball, all goalkeepers require. Speed, only succeeding in giving the ball away to Birch, who brings Stuart Gray into it. That was a bit tight for Callaghan, and well played by Birch though, and he sets off towards the Leeds goal, tries to check inside McAllister, will have a deep ball, what a superb effort from Birch, the chance hasn't gone away yet. So unlucky hitting Lukic's crossbar, and it's, uh, well, it's not going to go in now because the whistle has sounded, but the first real evidence that Villa pose a genuine threat here to Leeds tonight, with Callaghan down, Paul Birch wasn't thinking about that. He was thinking about beating Lukic. He did just that and was denied by the crossbar. And they couldn't finish it off. Some unsteady defending from Leeds. It's a good long kick from Lukic and the ball could bounce anywhere, literally on the surface. Although, as we said, it's coming through well in the match. Feels for a free kick for Leeds. Referee not impressed. And these two sides met in the league earlier this season. It ended in a goal that's at Villa Park just three days after Inter Milan had been beaten by Villa. And Villa haven't really got their game together since then, winning only four of 17 matches. Look 
looking again for that early breakthrough. And McAllister makes a great run inside the box and puts the shot wide. But he really is blossoming in the Leeds midfield. Gary McAllister, the Leeds fans have warmed to him after a string of stirring performances in recent weeks. And that was good, quick thinking by the Scot. Chapman challenging for the ball with Nielsen. Managed to direct it back into his path. Couldn't just round it off. Peter with the new assistant to Joseph Venglosh down there on the touchline. It's the first time the Czech manager has been here to Ellen Road. He's heard plenty about the atmosphere, though. Fair to say that neither side has gained any ascendancy yet, but here's another awkward one from Lukic, and Speed comes onto it. Just couldn't work it onto that foot of right foot of his, but he has found Batty. McGrath contesting the ball, and Strachan takes it on. And Birch, as we expected, sticking to him. And it's Birch who's winning the duel. And Sterling can throw them long, and he's taken over this responsibility from Batty. Leads with two men going to the near post. If that ball bounces, it could go anywhere. Fair left to Speed, and Gary Speed header. They seem to leave it alone. Nigel Speed groping, and Speed header looked for all the world as though it was going to go inside that far upright. Fair left challenging, and there's Speed header, and it seemed to take an eternity. And in fact, it came, it seemed to come off Spink's knee. This one is picked up by Villa and by Birch. We've got Callahan going through the middle. Does well. Just bided his time and found Price. The little nick inside from York won't find him. And here's Chapman on his own, mind you. Up against uh, three defenders. They were sufficient to keep him at bay. The deflection might come to Chapman. No foul, so still in is forward and here's shot and he's got no side of Gray. Two men arriving in the area and McGrath had to put the ball out. Well, Leeds have been scoring a lot of goals here in recent matches. They've won their last eight games at home and they've scored 23 goals in the process. One would do nicely for them now. Snowden. Oh, and Chapman scores! He's done it again. 17 minutes gone, and Lee Chapman, who always has a bet on himself to score the first goal in the game, has won his bet. From Snowden, he soars at the near post, and that's too tough for Spink. It fairly flew into the net, and it's a typical Lee Chapman goal. 15 for him now this season. And he's caught up with David Platt on that mark. Villa just dallying occasionally, and it doesn't pay here. But now Platt has the chance to sweep the ball wide for Callaghan. The chance to make inroads this time, and finds Birch in a good shooting position. He's already hit the bar, but this time his little curler didn't have any meat behind it. It was Platt who'd started all that, though, with the ball to Callaghan. Rolled invitingly for Birch, who'd had one good effort previously. That wasn't his best. So another Lukic missile. Comes down this time on the head of Speed, and Chapman, it just caught his knee, I think. And in the end, it's put out of play by McGrath for a corner. But again, John Lukic is one of the most potent weapons Leeds have tonight because of the prodigious lengths he's kicking the ball. Could have been worse for Villa, he could have deflected that into his own net the way it was running. Strachan might look for a bit more height with this one, and he does, and it's a curler to the back post towards Shutt. Comes back for Sterland. Oh, and flicked on, oh, and just beyond Chapman. In fact, I think it was White who took it away from Chapman. It's played in again by Strachan. Chapman's back post, he can't get there, and Callaghan delighted to get it away. Lob back in by Batty to White, who slips. 
straight back to Gus Fankler something there. Now McGrath, and Callister almost winning it from him. The Leeds have it back again, they are tenacious. And they come swarming forward again, looking for a second reward in the half. Well, they're defending stoically. Stephen does enough to win it, and then give it to Batty. A bit of room for David Batty. Bringing in Snowden. And if leads a man up there in the area, and it's Fairclough's header. No sting behind it. Fairclough just loves getting into those positions. Nine goals last season, three of this, not bad for a centre back, and he gets into a good position here. But he just couldn't get any real force behind the header. Speed. And lives up to his name and might have a crack as well. No. Nope. Tries to tee up Batty, David Batty straight into the defence. Good square ball here, Strachan trying to take it on the chest. It was a bit too much for him, but he's still here inside the area. They did well not to bring him down then too. Just the sort of situation in which penalties are given away. But Strachan overdoes his own challenge now. And it's going to be a free kick to Villa. He's never stopped working, Gordon Strachan, but won the ball unfairly that time. Well, for a veteran, he's puffing and blowing a little bit, but he's still enjoying his life. A good candidate for Footballer of the Year. And referee Lewis eventually says, let's go to the dressing room after all that. So it's half-time here at Ellen Road. Just one goal separates the sides. The 17th minute header from the towering Lee Chapman, who soared at the near post to deflect the ball in from the corner. So half-time, it's Leeds United 1, Aston Villeneuve.